In this video, I'm going to attempt to prepare benzene. The chemicals that were available to me in order for me to attempt to prepare benzene are sodium benzoate and sodium hydroxide. My sodium hydroxide is in the form of a crystal drain opener. There's some little bits of aluminum or zinc in it that I've tried to pick most of them out. Some are still there, but it shouldn't interfere with the reaction, I'm hoping. The uh, sodium benzoate is uh, just a standard bag of food-grade sodium benzoate that's widely available online from many suppliers. To do this reaction, which requires evidently a fair bit of heat, to drive, I've made a uh, steel reaction vessel up from an old propane torch tank. I've put a uh, fill for the uh, dry chemicals on the side here with a screw-on cap. This is all metal, of course, because of the heat. Then I've put in a copper tube at the other end to allow the benzene vapors that I'm supposed to get from this reaction to come out and then go over and down into a standard glass water jacketed condenser the benzene to be collected in this 250 milliliter round bottom flask that's going to be in an ice water bath to help keep things condensed. Here's the final setup for this experimental synthesis of benzene from sodium benzoate and sodium hydroxide. Water flow to the condensers turned on, the uh, 250 millimeter round bottom collection flask is in a small ice bath. All I have to do at this point is uh, light the torch. The torch is now lit, although it's nearly impossible to see the blue flame from the torch in uh, the shop lighting here. So I'll pick up the video when uh, distillate starts coming across for me. After about nearly 10 minutes of torch heating, material is starting to flow out of the steel reaction vessel and into the condenser. It's in the form of a white fog that can be seen inside my glass tube that leads down to the condenser. Some of this fog can be seen, although not very easily here, in the collection flask. When I've collected more, I'll pick up the video again. We can see a bit of the initial distillate, uh, it's yellowish in color here, beginning to collect as I continue to keep the propane torch to the reaction vessel. There's now a little more distillate beginning to be collected in the bottom of the 250 milliliter boiling flask. It's uh, expected to come across a yellow-orange color. This benzene will have to be redistilled in glassware to purify it, but that'll be uh, done in part two, a second video. Uh, this has been running for about ten minutes now, and uh, Distillate can still be seen entering the collection flask. I'll probably be heating this thing for another 15 or 20 minutes. I'm about 15 minutes in and the benzene is starting to come across to the 
fairly good rate. I probably got uh, not quite a hundred milliliters yet in the collection flask, but I'm close. It does take quite a bit of heat for quite a long time to drive this reaction forwards. I had to heat my reaction vessel all over and then heat the bottom red hot in order to get a good flow of the benzene to the condenser. I was finally getting very little to no more benzene being evolved from the reaction vessel despite the high heat applied to it. So I've stopped the process. I have a little over uh, 100 milliliters of uh, very impure benzene. Benzene, of course, is a water-clear aromatic liquid. The liquid I've collected here is very obviously orange with impurities. What has to be done is a second step where I do a simple distillation of benzene in my glassware to purify it. I'll be doing this in my next video. Here's a quick look at the benzene I got from that effort. Uh, it's extremely impure, as benzene should be water clear. This will be uh, redistilled in the next video, and I will have clean, clear benzene. But before I distill it, I may make a second batch in uh, my metal reaction vessel, so that I have uh, a little more before I go and uh, redistill it to finish it. So there'll be more to come on this benzene. Thanks for watching, and in the next video I will be simple distilling it to clean it up.